Hi, I'm Viviana. Welcome to our tour of the Heritage University campus here in Toppenish, Washington. I'm one of the several students who will take you around and show you the highlights of our beautiful campus. We begin our tour of the Student Services Center, where you'll start your educational journey at Heritage. You'll find everything you need to get started, including admissions and the registrar's office. Next door to the Students First Center is the Community Training and Business Center, which is home to two classrooms and the Center for Indigenous Health, Culture and Environment, and the Mellon Mays Undergraduate Research Program and Leadership Alliance programs. You can find Winona Win here. Now we're going to do a little walking as we head to our next stop, the Martha B. Yalp Health Sciences Building. As we walk, let me tell you a little bit about Heritage. Heritage University was founded in 1982 by Dr. Kathleen Ross and two Yakima Nation women, Violet Lumley Rao and Martha Yellow. The private nonprofit institution named Heritage College started offering undergraduate and graduate degrees. In 2004, Heritage College became Heritage University to reflect the substantial master's degree program. As of spring 2021, enrollment at Heritage was about 1,000 undergraduate and graduate students. This is the Martha B. Yallop Health Sciences Building. It has a large classroom and is also home to the university's advancement and marketing departments. And business majors, you will find your professors here. Next door is the Arts and Sciences Center, and Jocelyn is there who will tell us more. Thank you, Viviana. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. The Arts and Science Center is the home to the university's laboratories where students are learning from and collaborating with top-notch science professors. Heritage University's nursing program is also located here. Also at the Arts and Sciences Center is Smith Family Hall, where many club functions, all campus meetings and fun campus and community events are held. If you need a quiet place to study, there are several places where you can hit the books and concentrate. Whether with friends or by yourself, that's just a few of the things you'll find at the Arts and Sciences Center. Now, let's take a short walk to the Gay and Jim Pickett Commons. It's one of the newer buildings on campus where there's lots of fun things always going on. Heritage University offers bachelor's and master's degrees in more than 50 programs. Our intimate campus gives you the benefits of more one-on-one -on -one interaction with your instructors. Advisors and counselors are easy to reach and you'll get the chance to have personal contact with HE administrators including President Andrew Sun himself. We're here at Piggy Commons and Brianna and Yasmin will take over to tell you more. Thank you, I'm Brianna. And I'm Yasmin. Right next to the Arts and Science Center is the Gay and Jim Piggott's Commons. It's home to the Student Lounge, Eagles Cafe, the Barn Hill Fireside Room, and the Patricia Wade Temple Commons. When we go inside, we first come to the Barn Hill Fireside Room, which is reserved exclusively for student use. It's a place where you can study, hang out with friends, while enjoying the ambiance of the fireplace. There's also the Patricia Wade Temple Room, which has more room for larger groups. This room is also perfect for student meetings and university social gatherings. As we walk, we enter the Eagles Cafe, which offers hearty, healthy, and tasty items for breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack, as well as coffee and soft drinks. There's a large dining area for you and your friends where you can sit, eat, and talk. The Student Lounge is a fun place where students can hang out, play pool, ping pong, board games, listen to music, and much more. As we leave the Student Lounge to go outside, we arrive at the Heritage University Labyrinth and the Great Lawn. A walk of the Labyrinth offers you a few minutes of meditation, which will relieve stress and help you concentrate on your studies. The Great Lawn is the scene for many fun events at Heritage. We hold the annual Easter Egg Hunt, All Nation Student Pow Wow, the El Grito Festival, and many more. During the lunch hour, many students can be seen playing an energetic game of soccer. Right over there is the Violet Lumley Rao Center, which houses many of the services that help students enjoy a successful college experience. And Jose is there to show us around. Thank you, Yasmin and Brianna. I'm Jose. This building is named after university co-founder Violet Lumley Rao and features a Jack and Connie block from Lecture Hall, one of the largest classrooms on campus. The Rao Center also has a large conference room and many student clubs hold their meetings here. You also find offices for advising, student life, the college assistant migrant program, offices of, of ability services, and TRIO student support services. And most importantly, offices of student financial aid and student accounts. Let's head over to the Rick and Myra Gagne Hall, which is just down this path. On our way to Gagne Hall, we pass by the Heritage University TP. The TP honors Heritage University's relationship with the Yakima Nation and is used as a classroom and gathering place. We are here at the Gagne Hall, 
and Perla is on board to tell us what's here. Thank you, Jose. Ganieja is the home of the university's Information Technology Help Center. You can get help with setting up your laptop for schoolwork and connecting your smartphone to Heritage. You can also get your ID card and parking pass here. The Help Center is open 8 through 5, Monday through Friday, and later during the first few weeks of any new school semester to help you sort out any technology questions you may have. Next to Garnier Hall is the Hitchcock Building, which is home to the university's business office. The sister Elizabeth Samskin Center is just a few steps away from Hitchcock. Offices for the College of Education in English and Humanities are located here. Next stop is Petrie Hall. It's another one of our newer buildings and is considered the crown jewel of new construction at Heritage. It is home to classrooms which are fitted with the latest technology, including smart boards and Mac desktops. These enhance teacher presentation and boost student learning. Petrie also houses the Walter and Peggy Lewis Art Studio, where students work on artistic projects as part of the art curriculum. The Virginia S. Hislop Gallery showcases the wonderful artwork produced by students, faculty, and others. The Provost's office is also in this building. Don't know what a Provost does? <laughs> I don't either. Kidding. The Provost is in charge of the academic programs at the university. Now, we're joined by Yvette, who will take us to the last stop on our tour. Thank you, Perla. Hi, I'm Yvette. Let's head on over to the Kathleen Ross Center. Let's go. In addition to our Toppenish campus, Heritage also operates a branch campus at Columbia Basin College in Pasco, Washington. Heritage at TBC offers bachelor's degree programs in accounting, education, psychology, social work, and criminal justice. You can also turn your bachelor's degree in a master's degree in teaching and education. Here we are at the Ross Center. This building is named after the first Heritage President, Sister Kathleen Ross. Once you enter straight ahead is the Donald K. North Library. The library has thousands of books and documents, as well as computers and helpful library staff to find what you need to complete your assignment. Right next door to the library is the Academic Skills Center and the Writing Center. In both places, you'll find tutors eager to help you excel with your classwork. There's also a computer lab with state-of-the-art equipment that will help you tackle those technology-based projects. The President's Office is also located in the Ross Center. Chances are good you'll see Dr. Sun on campus, and you can catch him in the office here. As a matter of fact, he's here to say hi now. Hello, I'm Andrew Sun, the President of Heritage University. Thank you for stopping in to take a virtual tour. If you are ready to take the next step, contact the Admissions Department and they can take you on an actual tour, as well as answer any questions about Heritage that you may have. I hope to see you here soon. Now let's go back to Viviana who will wrap out our tour. So there you have it, a video tour of our main campus in Toppenish. We invite you to come out to see the campus in person. Make an appointment by visiting heritage.edu, send us an email, or give us a call. Can't wait to see you here.